Hi, preschool friends. It's Teacher John here, and with our new read aloud book for the week. All right, let's take a peek. Now, first, let's look at our title, friends. The title of the book tells us something what the story might be about. All right, let me read the title to you, and then maybe you could guess what the story might be about. Dear Polar Bear, right? Hmm, what do you think? I heard polar bear. Maybe it's about a polar bear. What else do you see on the cover? What's the polar bear getting? It's a letter. Have you ever gotten a letter before? Yeah, maybe you got a letter from a friend in the mail or from a family member, right? It's always fun to get mail, to get letter, to get letters in the mail, isn't it? All right, today our author and illustrator. The illustrator draws the pictures. And the author writes the words, right? Our friend Barry Ablett did both of writing the words and drawing the pictures. Some really neat pictures in this one, okay? Let's take a look at um, some words that go along with our story. Picked all three fun ones. You ready? First one is package. Can we all say package? Package, right? A package is a box that has something inside that is sent to someone in the mail, right? A package. All right, next one here. What is that? A polar bear, right? A polar bear is a big white bear that lives where it's cold. Why do you think a polar bear has all of that fur on it? Do you know why, friends? to help keep him warm, right? All right, our last one here, friends, is called igloo. Can you say igloo? Igloo. It's kind of a funny word, isn't it? It's a house made of snow and ice, right? Lots of places that are super cold, like Antarctica. Sometimes friends that live in Antarctica build homes out of snow and ice to keep them warm. Big loop. All right. How about package? We could pretend to hand someone a package. You ready? Here it comes. Package. Good job. Polar bear. How about we do our big paws? Polar bear. Big paws. In igloo, how about we kind of make a half circle, right? Like an igloo. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Dear polar bear. Let's see what happens. A few days, whoop, did I miss one? I did miss one, sorry friends. Here it is. Hmm. Polar bear was unhappy. His igloo, there it is, was so empty and cold. Brr. Polar bear, oh, I forgot polar bear. Big pause, big pause. Polar bear thought about his friends, koala, who lived in a forest full of trees and flowers. Maybe he could send something to brighten up Polar Bear's home. So Polar Bear sat down to write a letter. Postman Penguin came to collect it. A few days later, Postman Penguin reached the forest. Koala was very pleased to have a letter from his friend. I know how to make Polar Bear feel better, he smiled scooting higher up into the treetops to choose a special gift. Take a look, friends. There's his letter. Let's see what it says. Dear Koala, can you help me? My little igloo is all snow and ice, and there is nothing else to look at. Could you please send me a colorful flower to brighten up my home? Thank you. From Polar Bear. Wonder what he could send. Polar Bear opened Koala's package as soon as it arrived. How exciting! He giggled as he read the letter inside. Then he planted the seeds and made a nice home for the caterpillars. Polar Bear's tummy rumbled. He wanted something yummy to eat, but all his food was icy and cold. Let's take a look what it's. Here's his package. This is to Polar Bear. Icicle Igloo, North Pole, the Arctic. That's where the package was sent to. 
you put it on the outside of the package where you'd like to send it to. Let's see what's inside. <gasps> Dear Polar Bear, I'm sorry your home is very empty. I've sent you two surprises to brighten it up. Keep the caterpillars in a jar and plant the seeds as soon as you can. Goodbye, koala. I know, Polar Bear thought. I'll write to Sun Bear in the rainforest. Maybe he can send me something tasty to eat. And he sat down to write another letter. Sun Bear was busy eating some delicious honey when Postman Penguin arrived. Cold, icy food? Polar, poor Polar Bear, Sun Bear slurped. I'll send him a special sweet treat. Well, let's take a look at the letter that Mr. Po uh, the Polar Bear sent. Dear Sun Bear, I am very fed up. As you know, all my food is icy cold. It would be nice to have something delicious to eat now and then. Do you think you could send me something from Polar Bear? I wonder what he, our friend is going to send Mr. Polar Bear. The next morning, Polar Bear had a surprise from Sun Bear. Soft, sticky, honey, yum, yum, he hummed. And best of all, it's not frozen. Let's take a look inside. It says to Polar Bear. Icicle Igloo, North Pole, the Arctic. Dear Polar Bear, try some of my yummy honey. It's the best in the rainforest. I've also sent you some honeybees so you can have a lifetime supply. Enjoy, Sun Bear. P.S. Sorry about the sticky letter. My paws were covered in honey when I wrote this. Polar Bear's tummy was full now, but he wished his igloo was a little warmer. I wonder how Panda keeps warm, Polar Bear said to himself, and he sat down to write another letter. Is Mr. Penguin getting a little tired delivering letters? I think he is. When Postman Penguin arrived, Panda was taking a nap. A letter from Polar Bear? Panda yawned. Oh, and he wants something to keep him warm? I've got just what he needs. Let's see what Polar Bear said to Panda. Dear Panda, it is very cold here in the winter. Even with my furry coat, I can't keep warm. I don't know what to do. Can you help me? From Polar Bear. Thank you, Panda. Polar Bear laughed as he opened his present. Let's see what's inside. You ready? Dear Polar Bear, I'm sorry you were cold. I hate the cold. Inside the box are some silkworms. Feed them to feed them these leaves. Ugh. Panda, what do you think the silkworms are gonna make? Hmm, maybe they could make them something warm, like a sweater. All right, how will these keep me warm? Oh, what am I to do? He sighed, feeling lonely. I wish my friends weren't so far away. The polar bear thought of Brown Bear. She always knows what to do. And he sat down to write another letter. Oh, there it is. To Brown Bear, Snowy Mountain River, Alaska. Alaska is a big state. Yeah, and it's far away from where we are now. Dear Brown Bear, it's fun to write letters to all my friends, but sometimes I wish I had a friend nearby. I do feel very lonely. What do you think I should do? From Polar Bear. The next day, next day, the postman penguin found Brown Bear and her cubs playing by the river. Oh dear, said Brown Bear as she read the letter. Polar Bear sounds very lonely. I think he needs a pet to cheer him up. Hmm, wonder what pet she might send. A few days later, Polar Bear opened the package from Brown Bear and looked inside. You ready? Should we look inside? Let's see what it is. Here we go. <gasps> My dear Polar Bear, I'm sorry to hear you are feeling lonely. 
My two babies keep me busy, so I've sent you a pet to look after. Make sure he has plenty of food and clean water. Love, brown bear and cubs. He stared at the fish, and the fish stared back. I'll call you Bubbles, Polar Bear smiled. And I will get you some fresh water for your bowl. But it was very dark outside. I wish I could see a bit better, Polar Bear squinted. My friend, Speckled Bear, can see in the dark. Maybe he can help me. Wait, Postman Penguin, I've got one more letter for you. Here's a letter to Speckled Bear, Amazon Rainforest in Peru. Dear Speckled Bear, my igloo is becoming nice and cozy. The only problem is that I, it can't be very dark, especially in winter. If I light a fire, my home will melt. What can I do? From Polar Bear. Hmm. The Speckled Bear was finishing his dinner when he saw Postman Penguin climbing over the rocks. A letter from Polar Bear, smiled Peckled, Speckled Bear. He can't see in the dark, eh? I have the perfect present for him. Hmm, wonder what he'll send. Polar Bear gleefully tore open the package. Let's see what it is. Oh my goodness, looks like a lot of fun worms. Let's read on and see what they are. His igloo sparkled with light. He realized how wonderful his home looked now and how lucky he was. Let's take a look at his letter. It says, Dear Polar Bear, thanks for your letter. I hope you enjoy your present. Glowworms! Friends, glowworms are excellent lights. Just set them free in your home and it won't be dark anymore. From Speckled Bear. Now everything is much better, Polar Bear laughed. And he rushed to write, write to his friends to thank them for all their wonderful presents. Postman Penguin came to collect the letter. Look at all those wonderful things he's got in his home now, right? Polar Bear waited and waited, but no letters came back. Hmm. Well, I think my friends have forgotten about me, Bubbles, he sniffed. Then suddenly, there was a knock. At the door. <gasps> Who do you think it could be, friends? Ah. Uh, Look outside, there's a big package. Can you see? The penguin has the package. Is that for me? Polar Bear gasped. What on earth could be inside it? He ran over and opened the box. To Polar Bear, Icicle Igloo, North Pole, the Arctic. Ready? Can you all see friends? It's all his friends that came to say hello. Surprise, his friends shouted. We've all come to visit you. This is the best present ever, Polar Bear laughed. And you are the best friends in the world. Thank you. The end. What a fun story, friends, that one is. Right? Mail is very important, isn't it? Right? It's a way that we can still communicate. That's a big word, right? Communicate. It's a way that we can all say hi to, to each other, right? We can put letters in the mail. You could draw nice pictures and mail those to our friends and family. And sometimes you can even put presents, right? Like honey or, the, or those fun glowworms maybe, right? So mail is a very important thing that we have and it's great and it's fun to be able to get mail from family and friends. And this week, we're gonna be talking more about that, okay? All right. Let's go through our words one more time. You ready? Package. Here's your package. A box that has something inside that is sent to someone in the mail. Package. Right? The polar bear got lots of packages. This one is polar bear. It's a big white bear that lives where it's cold. <laughs> An igloo. Uh, a house made of snow and ice. Igloo. For a think pair share today, friends, why don't you think of a time that you got a fun package? Maybe it was from a friend, or maybe it was from grandpa and grandma, or a family member. Maybe think of it, think of what was inside. Was it a gift or a present for your birthday? 
All right. Go ahead and post that on your portfolio. It'd be fun to hear maybe a video of something that you also got. All right, friends. Uh, we'll see you soon. We'll do it again. Bye-bye.